Today, Archive Knights and Roblox has a brand new update out now. This update includes a bunch of brand new animatronics and a skin for Springtrap. All the new animatronics are the Paper Pals, which I missed from an old update, I'm sorry. There's a bunch of security bots, Roxanne Wolf, and a skin called Sustrap. In this video, I'm going to be checking all of them out. So, without wasting any time, let's head to the shop. Let's go to FNAF Security Breach, and let's buy everybody. Roxanne Wolf is 1,250 coins, and then every staff bot is 500. And then let's go and head over to FNAF 2, because I do have to buy the Paper Pals for 2 bucks each. Luckily, we do have enough. The developers were kind enough to send me uh, the currency of the game, so I'm able to do all of this and, you know, do the videos. And then for Sus Trap, you want to go into custom characters at the bottom and then buy it for 25 bucks. Just based off that picture, I'm a little concerned about what that's going to be. But let's go ahead and hit play. And I guess we'll start off with the Paper Pals since they are the oldest and the ones I miss from old updates. Uh, check out uh, Freddy uh, Bonnie Paper Pal. Why not? Uh, so this is what all of them look like right here. You can see in the center, a paper plate painted to look like Bonnie, Balloon Boy, and Freddy. Uh, and then I'm assuming they're all going to have the same, more or less, abilities. But here is Paper Pal. The sound it makes when it moves. Very, uh, very appropriate. Kind of surprised it doesn't have any animations, though. I was kind of expecting its arms to just start, like, flapping in the wind while it walks. But that is still A-OK. -okay. Uh, we don't have any voice lines or anything at all, actually. So, this is what the Paper Pals could do. They could walk around, make some paper sounds, and then you could pretend to just be a be a thing on the wall, I guess, if you really wanted to. And there you go. You had no idea it was me the whole time. Gallant Gaming, the Paper Pal. Whoa! Sticky notes rustling intensifies. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check if that had any nighttime animations. I'm assuming it doesn't, right? There's no way. And then for the next one, I do want to go check out some of the bots as well. So we have Staff Bot, Server Bot, looks like Balloon Boy a little bit. We have the Chef Bot, we have the Fry Bot, Magician Bot, Comedian Bot, one of my favorites. Did you know if you shock him in Security Breach, you get an achievement? We have Golf Bot. Go for the green par! We do have Nanny Bot. And then we have Baby Bot. And we have the Sewer Bot. So I'm not going to become all of these so because because I feel like their abilities are, again, similar like the Paper Pals were. So let's just become one of them. Uh, let's become the Sewer Bot. I feel like that one looks the most interesting and just terrifying. Look at this. What in the world? This is so cool. The design, the little attention to detail all over this animatronic is crazy. But there you go. There is the sewer bot. Uh, there are no voice lines. Oh, there's some abilities. We have a perform. Oh, look, he's doing a little dance. He's doing his little dancey dance. Look at him go. Very nice. We have a deactivated standing as well. Just powering down and we can reboot it after. But is there a nighttime? I don't think there's a nighttime animation for this one either. There are no buyables. So what you see is what you get. And that is the sewer bot. After the paper pals and security bots, I feel like now we have to go check out that weird skin for Springtrap called it Sus Trap. Uh, so let's go over to FNAF 3, Springtrap. Uh, actually, where do I find this thing? Uh, where would this even be? Oh, there it is. It's in custom characters. Uh, I thought there was going to be a skin section, but I guess not. But anyway, go to custom characters. It's right next to Tangle. Oh, no. You made him look like an Among Us character. You guys are weird. Community voted for him to be added. He's literally a Springtrap recolor. Don't waste your money on this. Well, listen. The developer said not to waste my money, but I'm going to go ahead and waste my money anyway. It's Springtrap, but he's an Among Us character. Get it? I think that's pretty good. I, I like it. What kind of a... What do we have, though? We have a Perform 1. 
That's so weird with the floating hands. We have perform two. We have deactivated stand. Uh, do we have anything relating to Among Us? Oh, there we go. Can he get, like, split in half? We do have nighttime animations, though. Oh, now he's angry Among Us. I'm really glad that was the jump scare sound. I, I'm i really glad. I was kind of, I don't know what else, what to expect from the jump scare sound from Sus Trap, but I'm glad it was that. We do have a couple camera poses as well as the lean left and right. I uh, already did the deactivates, and there are no buyables for Sus Trap. So this is where Sus Trap is going to come to an end. So you guys can decide for yourselves if you want to buy them, or if you want to follow the developer's advice and not. But either way, there it is. And now let's move on to the final new animatronic of this update. The one we've all been waiting for for a while now. And that is Roxanne Wolf. I'm the best. I am the best. And there she is right there. Her nose held high looking down on us. Oh, and there is Roxanne Wolf. Very detailed as are the other security animatronics. Uh, security breach animatronics, I meant. I don't know why I said it like that. But anyway, we have a night vision. As with all the animatronics, we have uh, a perform. Hey, very nice. Bust out the key tar. And then we have glowing eyes as well to make it even better. And then we have a deactivate. But don't worry, that's not all. We do have nighttime as well at the bottom. This is where all the real animations come out. Here's her nighttime walking around, just creeping. Looking around for Gregory Pose. We have, or animations, I should say. Also, her idol is her, like, sniffing around, too. Very cool. The animations in this game always are super well done. The animatronics as well. Look at the detail. And then we have a jump scare. Very cool. We have a lean left, a lean right. We have camera pose. Ah. We have a sprint T-pose. That wasn't one of the options. Uh, but here's the sprint. She is very, very fast. Can get to the office in like 2.2 seconds. That's a speed run tactic. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. There's a deactivate again. And that is it for Roxanne. Uh, are there any buyables though? There are not, unfortunate. But anyway, that is it for this brand new update in Archive Nights. If you all enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my videos. And whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code GALLANT. But anyway, thank you all so much. Let me know what your favorite animatronic is from this update in the comments. I feel like everyone's going to say Sus Trap, but my favorite is definitely Roxanne Wolf. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!